agency versus freelancer which one should you pick and which one will make you the most money hey guys welcome back to a brand new video my name is Jaime and I own a social media marketing agency called Mogul C where we help e-commerce brands scale online now in this video I'm going to be addressing a question that I see very often and that I see a lot of people get completely asked backwards and that is should you be a freelancer or should you be an agency and not only do I see people struggle with uh, you know choosing between the two but I also see people struggle with the definition of each actually understanding the difference between a freelancer and an agency. One of the things that you will realize after this video, especially if you watch until the end, where I will reveal which one you should probably pick, um, but one of the things that you will realize is that I'm not biased towards agency or the freelancer model. I actually believe there's a space and time for each uh, business model. Instead, what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna take a look at the pros of each and the cons of each and then compare them against the two and come out with a final winner. So really excited for this video. Truly believe that it's gonna help out a lot of you who are trying to get into the digital marketing space. Maybe you're thinking of starting your own agency. Maybe you're thinking of going the, the freelancing way. Uh, maybe you don't really know the difference between the two. So really excited for this and let's get right into it. Now, the first thing that I want to cover before the pros or the cons is just the technical difference between the two. What is the one thing that actually separates the agency from the freelancer? And it's actually very simple. The freelancer operates solo, right? So they operate alone and they usually work by the hour or on a project basis, okay? And the agency usually works on larger projects and they don't operate solo. It's always more than one person, right? It's a group. And that is where I see a big mistake and I'm understanding that people make. They think that building an agency is just being a freelancer and calling themselves an agency. And that is not how it works. If you're building an agency, there needs to be more than one person in your in your team, right? Maybe a person that does the service delivery or maybe a person that does the sales and you do the, the service delivery. Whatever it is, there's more than one person in your team. And that makes you an agency, right? It's not just you running the show. And that's what makes an agency an agency. And so I want you guys to keep that in mind because if you're gonna start an agency, see it's not just going to be you running the show, okay? There's going to be a team around you, helping you, for example, carry out the service, helping you with the sales, maybe the lead source and whatever it is, right? But it's just more than one person involved. So now that we know the technical difference, what are the pros and the cons of each? Let's start with freelancers. The biggest pros for freelancers is the fact that it is pure profit. Everything that you make, you pretty much get to keep, right? Because you don't have to pay out a contractor or an employee or whatever it is, right? Everything that you make, you pretty much get to keep. Obviously, there's going to be a few expenses, like, you know, obviously taxes, there's going to be uh, software involved, et cetera, et cetera but pretty much it's going to be pure profit. Everything that you make, you are going to keep. So that is really the first pro. And the second pro is that you're very agile. The thing about freelancers is they usually jump from project to project. They might have, depending on, obviously on, on the nature of the job, but they might have, you know, three, four, five projects that they're currently working on. Okay, so it's very agile. You can jump from project to project. A lot of people love that, the fact that they don't have to marry a project for eight months. They can just do a little project for two, three months, uh, and that's kind of it. So those are really the two biggest pros. The fact that it is pure profit and the fact that it's very agile. You can jump from project to project without committing fully to one. Now onto the cons. And the first thing is that there's no predictability. And what I mean by that is that a freelancer usually comes in to complete a certain job, right? Yes, sure, a lot of companies just have freelancers uh, that take care of, for example, I don't know, their, their social media management for uh, you know many years, uh, but that's usually not the case. Whereas an agency, for example, and I'll talk about this uh, in more detail, but an agency comes in more as a partner, right? When a client signs on an agency, they're not thinking, oh, they're gonna come in for two months and then get this done and you know kind of leave, right? They're thinking, oh, I'm gonna grow with this agency. This agency is gonna help me grow, and, they're, and hopefully they're gonna be around for a very long time, right? They're gonna be partners. We're gonna work as partners. Whereas a freelancer usually is, hey, get this job done, put out this fire, whatever it is. And usually that's kind of the extent of the job. For example, for a bunch of our clients, they usually have freelancers uh, here and there. For example, if they have to implement something on their Shopify or they have to make this little tweak uh, here and there, they're gonna hit up their uh, freelancer. Sure, it's the same person every single time, but it's little jobs here and there, right? There's no predictability. It's not a ongoing month by month uh, service. The second thing is lower retainers. And this usually comes down to the, the scope of the work as well as the impact of the work that, that is being carried out. So first thing, scope of work. You Usually a freelancer is very good at one single thing, right? For example, a freelancer might be amazing at running Facebook ads, whereas an agency, for example, my agency, we come in and we help them grow online. Not just the Facebook ads are things, but we help them with their email marketing, we give them GRO, we basically drop the, the whole sales process for them. So it's a, a 360 approach. Whereas a freelancer, simply because it's just one single person, they are bound to one single service and one single solution. So that's really the scope of work. And then when it comes to the impact, usually an agency is brought in to create more revenue, right? It's, it's more of an investment. Sure, a freelancer, if they're running some type of online ads, that that's an investment as well because they're there to make the money. But most often than not, the services carried out by a freelancer are usually
usually not the ones that have a, a huge impact on the, 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 the bottom line or the total revenue of a company. It's usually more just to get by and to keep the business, uh, you know, the wheels turning and moving forward. So that's really the second thing. The final cons and probably the biggest one for a freelancer is the fact that it is very hard to scale. Why? Because you are bound to your human flesh. And human flesh is very hard to scale because you can't duplicate yourself. And so the great thing about an agency is that I can duplicate myself. Why? Because I've got very smart people in my team that can do a lot of jobs that, for example, maybe I couldn't, or maybe I just don't have the time to, or maybe I don't want to, or maybe, and most importantly, I should probably focus my time, energy, and attention on uh, activities that are actually going to generate revenue that are actually going to uh, move the agency forward. So that's really the, the biggest thing about the freelancer model, in my opinion, the fact that, sure, you're keeping all this profit, but you hit a glass ceiling where you can't really duplicate yourself. There's only a certain amount of hours in, in the day that you can work. You simply can't take on six projects that take four hours each day, simply because your time is limited and you're bound by time. And that is a very hard business model to scale. And that is why I see a lot of uh, freelancers struggle to actually transcend past the 6K, 8K a month uh, mark, simply because they're bound by time. So that is that for freelancing, now onto the agency model. For a little change, let's talk about the cons now. Uh, and so, the first, the first one that I see, maybe, um, I personally love this, but you know, it's, it's that long partnership, right? And so when you sign a contract with a client, they are looking for that long partnership, at least most of them, right? They're not going into the, into the partnership thinking, oh, I'm just gonna get rid of these people in three months, right? They're, they're, they're really looking for a long partnership. And I personally love that, right? Because I, I love building brands online. And the only way you can do that is by having longevity and, and building out a relationship with them. And actually being in the trenches for, you know, 12 months, 14 months, 16 months, right? Even two years. That's how you can actually have big impact on a brand. I also love growing with them, not only on the financial side of things, but just on the fulfillment side of things. And being able to say, hey, my team and I are responsible for the growth of this brand. That, that's what I personally love, right? If you're looking for more agile work, uh, then the freelancing way is probably the better way uh, in a way, but you can also get that agility with agency clients if you go down the consulting way. For example, I could consult clients and I can train their team to do X instead of doing it for them, right? And so I can just train them for maybe a week or whatever, a few days, that would certainly be more agile on my end, okay? So that's really the first thing, the, the long partnership. So in my opinion, that's really the, the one and only con uh, for agencies. Onto the pros, the first thing that I see is that you have a holistic approach. Unfortunately, not a lot of agencies do this, uh, and if you're not doing this, I'd certainly recommend it, but when they sign an agency, for, for example, Facebook ads, they're not just expected to do the Facebook ads, right? You should be looking at their website uh, optimization. You should be looking at their creatives, ad copies. It doesn't mean that you have to implement it for them, but at least give them tips and, and tricks and basically stuff that they can do on their end. So you have a holistic approach and that's actually gonna reflect on your performance of the Facebook ads. So that's really the first thing. The second thing is that you can command higher retainers. Why? Because most medium to big size companies go for agencies instead of the freelancing route. And why? Because they like that security, they like that comfort, they like the relationship as well, and they prefer to have a, a group of people that is more professional uh, than just a freelancing uh, contract or relationship with someone that does that for them. And the third and final thing is that you can actually duplicate yourself. And so you can actually scale much faster. Why? Because you as the founder or CEO, whatever you want to call it, you can actually put your time, energy, and focus on the high impact activities, the activities that are actually going to generate revenue. I'm talking sales, outreach, client experience, team reporting, all that stuff. The stuff that's actually going to move the needle forward. Uh, and so when you have that time to put into those activities, then you know the scalability potential is much larger. Because not only are you signing clients and your team is, is, is delivering the service for your clients, yes, you can be involved in the service. I'm, I certainly am because I love it. Um, but I'm putting most of my attention on growing the business or making the systems of the business much tighter, more, much more efficient, much more streamlined, much more professional. On, for example, onboarding new team members. So that is what you should do as an agency owner. And that is why, in my opinion, is the way to go if you're looking to get into the digital marketing space because you can actually scale much faster and you command high retainers. The final thing that I will say on, on the lifestyle side of things is that you can actually take a vacation. You actually have time freedom because even if you're not working yourself, you have your team member who's still doing the service, right? For example, you've got your copywriter still writing copy. If you guys coordinate your, your vacations, obviously they will take vacations too, right? But if you guys coordinate it so that, you know, when you're off, when you're taking a vacation, when you're relaxing, then the agency is still running and your income does not take a hit. So that, that's the final thing that I will say on the agency side of things. I personally love it and I just think it's the way to go. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a big thumbs up. It really helps a lot with the algorithm and I'd really appreciate it. Also leave down below any questions, any comments you may have on this video and I'll be sure to check those out. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, there's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship and a 360 approach to social media marketing agency with a specific focus on sales, outreach, and e-commerce. So if you don't wanna miss out, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And the final thing is if you haven't checked out my free masterclass on how to sign and keep four-figure retainer clients for your agency. There's a link in the description to that. There's nothing for sale, guys, and just the, the feedback that I've been getting on it. Literally, people taking the strategies that I share, the sales and outreach strategies that I share, the templates and scripts that I share 
on that presentation, literally taking that and signing clients. So if you want to check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always, guys, hope everything's going well in your agency journey, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.